Today we're gonna make Mohammeda. Hey guys, I'm Eunice from Rated V, your guide to vegan food and travel, and today we're making one of my favorite dips that's made with roasted red peppers and pomegranate molasses and walnuts. And the reason I wanted to try this is because I used to eat it all the time at my favorite restaurant in Seattle called Mamnoon. They are a Middle Eastern restaurant and they make the best muhammadah ever. And I made this recipe one time and I was like, oh my gosh, this tastes just like Mamnoon's. So I'm not gonna say it's the exact recipe, but it's very, 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 very close. So if you don't get a chance to go to Seattle to go visit Mamnoon, you can now make this at home. So let's get into this. So first you'll need three red bell peppers, cut them in half and you'll roast them at 425 Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or until charred. Then you'll cover them with cling wrap for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, spread one cup of walnuts on a baking tray and roast them at 350 for about 10 minutes until slightly roasted. Now that you've steamed the peppers, you can peel off the skins and put them in a food processor. Then you'll add the toasted walnuts. This is one of the most important parts of the recipe for that depth and flavor. If you wanna know where I get bulk nuts, I have a link below. Then you add breadcrumbs, I use panko, add a tablespoon of tahini, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes if you don't have Aleppo pepper, and non-negotiable is the pomegranate molasses. This is what makes Muhammadah Muhammadah. So salt to taste, and then you blend. Blend until you only have a slight grain. You don't want it to be super smooth, so make sure it's still that grain remains. Then you plate it and garnish. I sadly did not record a taste test because I lost daylight, but I promise you I devoured this. It was delicious. My family loved it. It was the first time they tried it. And if you want to enjoy Middle Eastern food, now you can. And if you want to check out more vegan food and travel, check more videos out on Rated V. Bye!